Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. We upload new earwax removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. UK time, so please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our earwax removal video today. Uh, this is quite a long video, so um, if I were you, I'd pause it, go make yourself a cup of, come back and start it again. It wasn't a particularly difficult wax removal to do, but we had a very, very nervous patient. And uh, this lady's come through, she was feeling quite blocked up on both sides hasn't had ears cleaned out for a little while um, and has really started it only come through sheer desperation because she was so fed up of not being able to hear what you can see is we've got quite a narrow ish entrance to the canal and we've got some quite hard wax in here which we're just using the standard size Zollner tube to remove and as you can see we've managed to get a good grip on this outer section here now, if you've watched some of our other videos where we show uh, patient reactions, you actually see the procedure being done, you know that at times the, the suction machine is quite noisy, so lots of crackling and popping and squeaking sounds. Now, most patients cope with that really, really well, and we do ask them if it's uh, causing you a problem or if you find it too loud to let us know. Uh, this lovely lady um, was doing okay up to a point with the standard size on the tube, but when you get to these kind of deeper, slightly harder wax uh, issues here, where it's become a little bit crumbly and breaking away in smaller pieces. It can be quite noisy. You get lots of pops, uh, lots of squeaks in there as well. So you can see we're just starting to remove and work on this deeper section. Unfortunately, there's a lot of dry skin in here as well, which has lifted up and embedded into the wax. So it can mean it's a little bit more difficult to remove and you will get these kind of squeaky sensations as well as you take the wax into the suction tube, especially with dry skin. So I'm trying to be as gentle as I possibly can, constantly reassuring the patient, you know, that everything is okay, the wax is coming away. And you can see here, we've got this flap of dry skin here at the base of the canal just trying to suction that in there we are there you can see it flicking into the end of the suction there just trying to work this down in here there we go so it's just starting to come away now slowly but surely working this out of the canal there we are it's just just starting to move now Okay, so patient was finding it really difficult to tolerate the, the, the wider suction just because of the noise. So to make it a little bit easier and make it more comfortable for the patient, which is always your top priority in any wax removal, I've switched to the fine end. It tends to be, because you've got a smaller aperture at the end, you don't tend to find it's as noisy in the canal. But the downside of that is you don't get such a good amount of suction onto the wax. Now you'd think it would focus the suction, it would be a more powerful suction coming through, but you don't get such a good grip. It can be a more powerful suction, but it's only a more powerful suction on a very small space of wax, uh, a very small uh, area of wax, I should say, I'm sorry. So a lot of the time the wax will crumble, break or snap as you take it away. So I'm trying to just to make it more comfortable and a more pleasant experience for this patient so they are more likely to come back and have things done and keep keep up with the ear cleaning regularly i'm going to try and stick with the fine end as much as i can this is what made it take that a little bit longer so what you can see is we've got these long strips of dry skin embedded in here little ribbons of dry skin um, so i'm trying to pull those out but i can't maintain enough of a suction grip to get a good pull on the, the ribbon so I've just gone in with the crocodile forceps now obviously there's no noise with the crocodile forcep at all just the pulling sensation so that helps to remove that a little bit uh, a little bit quicker than taking it out with the fine end I'm trying not to talk as much because you've got to listen to me now for <laughs> nearly 18 minutes uh, and I, I'm sure you'll get bored of my voice in 18 minutes so I'm, I'm trying to take little breaks but you can see now I, I'm trying to 
maintain a grip on these smaller pieces take those away i'm looking for softer sections that we can get a good grip on i'm trying to take it out and hold on to it and get out in a larger piece um bless her this lady was such a trooper uh, she was so nervous coming through and and uh, you know really just petrified of having anything done with her ears um, you know some patients do come through like that it can be due to you know bad experiences they've had with other practitioners it can just be that they just don't like anything in their ears um so when you have this kind of amount of wax in there usually somebody's put off coming through for a long period of time and that can be um that can be really problematic then because it takes a lot longer to clear what's in there unfortunately but if you can give the patient a good experience when they come through and it doesn't hurt them and they get on well with it they're more likely to come more often so you're not clearing as much away so overall it's a much nicer experience for the patient so you can see now we're just working on the outside edge taking away the looser pieces lots of in and out of the ear canal So just slowly taking it away. With the standard size, a lot of the smaller pieces and debris will get sucked inside the machine and quite effectively sucked inside the machine. With the fine end, it blocks very, very quickly with soft wax. Uh, so what you're doing is where you can see we're having to go in, grab a little piece, take that away, go in, grab a little piece, take that away. But patient found this far more comfortable, was tolerating the fine end far better. Um, than the, the the wider end when it comes to that kind of removal uh, sometimes we have to we have to switch to the larger end to remove larger pieces uh, in that case I would explain that to the patient and, and really reassure them that it will be done really quickly if we can do it this way um, but for the time being we're just going to stick to clearing with the fine end here so you can see I'm trying to bend and flex the wax out of the canal and just trying to reposition it so if I can roll it almost rather than try and suction it because we're not we know we're not going to maintain a very good suction grip here but I can maintain enough to roll the wax forwards and move it down the canal um, it's it's going to be um, a little bit easier to remove this wax you see just slowly slowly working this out Here we go, just starting to take, you can see as we get the grip look, it starts to break little pieces away. So it does come out, um, but it is a little bit more, a little bit more problematic to remove with the smaller end there. Here we go, just starting to wiggle this little hard piece here up and down. Just slowly, very gently moving this around the corner. Because of the entrance to the canal being quite narrow, um, it means it's it's a little bit more difficult. You haven't got a great deal of room to maneuver the tools in here. Just trying to bring it forward and then I have to bring it towards the right side of the canal and then bend it back towards the left then to be able to get this out. So we kind of got to work around this bend but you can see it's starting to break down a little bit more now. Um, I know one of the questions you're going to be asking me is, okay, why didn't you use the Jobson horn on this? Um, with the Jobson horn, because you're pushing into there and you have to press down on the wax, um, you tend to feel it more. It, you, you'll, you'll usually feel like a mild pinching or mild scratching sensation. And it's deep I can't see past it there's an awkward bend in here uh, so the Jobson horn if anything would be more uncomfortable for the patient which is the reason I haven't used it yes it would be less noisy um, but it would be more uncomfortable and as obviously I've been explaining through the video we want to make this um, as uh, least stress or le less as the least stressful it can possibly be for this patient if I got this section here to the outer part of the ear canal we could then contemplate using the Jobson horn to help with that. But while it's deep, I'm happy just to keep using the suction. It is coming out. Uh, if it takes me longer, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, if, the, if we can get this out for the patient, we can get them feeling better. That's all that's important. 
there we go you're just starting to see now we're starting to get towards the outer part of the ear canal now um we're going to hit a catch 22 in a minute because this is going to come out to the outer part of the ear canal but it's going to be too wide to fit out of the canal itself okay uh, I can't maintain a good enough grip to hold on to it tight enough to get it out of the ear canal with the uh, fine end so at some point I'm going to have to switch to the wider end just to remove this but I'm only going to do that on the outer part of the ear canal and I will we reassured the patient before we did that it's you know it is going to be a little bit louder at this point but we're only on the outer part of the ear canal and if I use this particular tool if I use the wider end I can get it out a lot quicker for you so I'm just trying to break as much of this down as I possibly can before switching tools because obviously if I can make it slightly smaller uh, then I do have a good chance of um, getting this out quicker using the larger tools so you can see we just managed to break a little bit away there you can see these long um, drier thicker pieces and dry skin pieces that have been stuck in here I'm trying my best to get all this out without having to switch tools if we can but you can see it's become quite sticky now at the entrance and it is starting to stick to both canal walls both opposing canal walls there just lifting up from the base trying to unstick it trying to get to the smoother section underneath if we can but yeah, um, you can see just how much difficulty we're having getting this out of the canal uh, if it had stayed quite hard um, I would have used the Jobson horn in here but because it's staying very soft and thick and sticky I'm afraid if I put the jobs in the horn it's just going to spread this uh, either side so we we've elected you can see the wider end going in there now so I'm just trying to get a grip bit of a wiggle there there we go you see the difference by using the uh, fine end to using the um, wider zolna tube to get that out now you will see there's a couple of little dots uh, at the ceiling not going to cause any problems as far as hearing is concerned um, we just wanted to get the offending wax out we don't want to cause any discomfort for the patient I'd much rather than leave being happy with the experience they've had um, you can see this is the other ear canal now we've got a lot of dry skin in here it's got that sheen to it now I think this is that stretchy toffee type wax we talk about sometimes which stretches out of the canal so I'm going to use the larger tube now patients a little bit more settled after having the one ear cleared so we're just gonna go in with the larger zona tube on this one you can see we're just trying to get a grip on this wax and see it's starting to stretch where you can see a ribbon of it look there you go so it's starting to come out of the ear canal so I'm not going to go into the canal. I'm going to work on the outer part of the ear canal. So patient happy. You know, you can look at it stretching out in this long, sticky ribbon of wax there and skin all coming away. I'm trying my best to get, if I can, to get it out in one piece, just because I know it's going to be more comfortable for the patient. Um, aiming the suction tube not at the entrance, uh, not at the front end of this ribbon. Sorry, closer to the entrance there. But unfortunately, it's just sheared off there. So let's see if we can get another grip on it. Lots of wiggling involved in this one, just because there's going to be a, there's a lot of um, the wax is so sticky that as soon as you start taking out the canal, it's just going to start sticking to those opposing canals. You see, look, there we go, another ribbon come away there. Now we're starting to go in a little bit deeper. Just get through the excess, your little raggedy ends there of where the ribbon had come away. I can see the eardrum, softer wax a bit further in. Now I know at the beginning you could see the eardrum there at the beginning as well. Um, the reason we elected to remove this wax is because we didn't want the patient to get blocked up within a matter of a couple of months again. So we thought if we get both cleared now today, and sometimes patients if they're a bit nervous they'll prefer just to get everything done in one hit um, rather than have to come back. So you can see just how sticky this wax is. It's got a couple of little loose uh, hairs and raggedy ends of the wax there. I'm trying to get a grip, but you can see it's stretching. Look, it's really pliable stuff. It's it's 
stuck to the canal wall and then stretching off that. Difficult to get a grip here uh, that's strong enough to take this out. Just breaking some of the looser ends on. You can see it, you just, just start to lose some of the visual. So I've pushed some of those raggedy ends out of the way uh, off the sill out. Lifting, now you can see we've got this this flap here at the entrance, trying to get that in as well. Trying to bunch it all together to unstick it from the canal. There we go, just giving it a bit of a wiggle. There you go. Let's move that out of the way. A little bit of olive oil going in here now because this is going to help. It's so sticky. It's really going to help to detach this and then stick it from the canal walls. You can see I'm just aiming for the back section of this wax here. The plan is if I can get a good grip there, it's going to peel everything down the canal. And it should all come out in a much, much larger, thicker chunk if we can. Oh, it's still stuck at the entrance. Let's unstick that bit first. Now, patient doing really well at this point, um, but feeling a lot more settled. You know, they know we, we've managed to clear one ear. Gives the patient a little bit of confidence in what you can do. Just slowly, slowly there you go. See, it's starting to peel off the canal. Look how, look how much of it there was. Peeling off the canal wall. There we go. Detach the front end. It means the rest of this is going to pucker up into the uh, suction tube now. We can get a good grip there. Patient jumped a little bit. There was a bit of a squeak as that bit disappeared into the uh, suction tube. There we go. Trying to get a good grip. Just using the suction to our advantage. Helping it to pull from the deeper sections of the canal now. Almost there. You can see it's really just stuck. It doesn't want to budge. Aiming just a little bit higher now. Trying to unstick it from this top right corner. If we can unstick this, the whole thing's going to come out. There we go. There we go. Out it comes. And we can get a good look behind that. There we are. There's the eardrum looking lovely and shiny. So this is what we removed. You can see the strips of skin in there as well. Um, we advise the patient to come back and see us more regularly now just to help, help out with this wax problem. Thank you very much for watching our video today. If you did enjoy the video, then please like. If you're not subscribed already and you'd like to do so, you can click the subscribe button here. If you'd like to check out some more of our videos, they're also up there. Now, if you want to follow us, you can do on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us. And as always, guys, until the next time, take care.